Could your blood pressure actually be the cause of your annoying tinnitus? Hi guys, Rachel Cook, Doctor of Audiology at Modern Tinnitus, and in today's video I'll be telling you three ways that your blood pressure could actually be making your tinnitus worse. I talk about tinnitus a lot on this channel, and for good reason, as nearly 15% of US adults experience that annoying ringing or buzzing sound in their head. In many cases, it is something that's actually pretty easily ignored. But if you have tinnitus, then you already know that there are times when it's better and there are times when it gets worse. Effectively managing your tinnitus requires you to figure out what your triggers are and make changes to your health or habits to address them. But because tinnitus can be caused or worsened by so many different things, it can be easy to feel like you're searching for a needle in a haystack. If you're new here, just know that I've already tried to help you get started sorting through that haystack. I've got videos about tinnitus and nearly every variable that you can think of, including medications, TMJ disorder, stress, allergies, and sugar. I've also released videos about various tinnitus treatment options and how well they do or don't work, including sound therapy, hearing aids, white noise, CBD, acupuncture, sleep strategies, biometric tracking, and bimodal neuromodulation using Lanier. For a deep dive on any of these options, be sure to check out our tinnitus playlist that we will have linked down in the description below. But today, I'm adding another potential cause of your tinnitus and what you can do about it to the list, your blood pressure. But before we dive in, please give this video a thumbs up to bring videos like these to a wider audience. And if you have not yet already hit that subscribe button with notification bell, what are you waiting for? Be sure to do that as well so that you never miss any one of our newly released videos. Now, blood pressure is a reflection of the pressure against the walls of your arteries as your heart pumps blood around the body. You've probably had your blood pressure checked by a nurse using a blood pressure cuff and stethoscope. And after this reading, you're given two numbers that indicate your systolic pressure and your diastolic pressure. Your systolic pressure is the higher number in a blood pressure reading, measuring the pressure in your arteries when your heart contracts and pumps blood out. Your diastolic pressure is the lower number in a blood pressure reading, measuring the pressure in your arteries in between heartbeats when it is essentially at rest. The combination of these two numbers helps classify whether your blood pressure is considered low, normal, elevated, or high. Your blood pressure plays a critical role in maintaining proper blood circulation, removing waste products, and making sure that all of your vital organs and tissues have the oxygen and nutrients they need. If your blood pressure is unregulated, you risk some serious health issues, such as heart disease, strokes, and even organ damage. But another little-known symptom of blood pressure dysregulation is tinnitus. While this can happen for many different reasons, here are four main ways that your blood pressure could be contributing to your tinnitus. The first is high blood pressure. High blood pressure is known as hypertension and is incredibly common in the United States, affecting nearly 50% of adults. This range has different levels to it, but is classified as anything above 120 over 80. High blood pressure can cause increased blood flow to the cochlea, your hearing organ. But the cochlea is very sensitive to blood flow changes, and an increase in blood pressure can even cause pulsatile tinnitus that seems to come and go with your heartbeat. High blood pressure can also put a strain on blood vessels. This can cause damage to hair cells, the delicate sensory cells in the cochlea. Damage to these cells is responsible for hearing loss and sometimes tinnitus. High blood pressure can also cause the narrowing and hardening of arteries called atherosclerosis. This can actually limit blood flow to the cochlea, causing tinnitus. Hypertension-related tinnitus can often be pulsatile in nature and can seem much worse during periods of high stress or even higher blood pressure than normal. The second way your blood pressure could be causing your tinnitus is low blood pressure. Low blood pressure is known as hypotension and is less common than hypertension, affecting around 10 to 20% of adults in the United States. Low blood pressure is classified as being below 90 over 60. Hypotension is much more common in older age because the elasticity of the blood vessels tends to reduce over time. Remember that the inner ear is sensitive to rapid changes in blood flow, affected by blood pressure that is too high 
but also affected by blood pressure that is too low. Changes in circulation to the inner ear can cause dizziness, tinnitus, and vertigo, which you may notice when sitting up or standing up too quickly. Hypotension-related tinnitus is often noticed more with changes in position or during periods of dehydration, illness, or fatigue. The third way that blood pressure can impact tinnitus is actually due to the medications that are used to treat these conditions. ACE inhibitors, diuretics, calcium channel blockers, and certain beta blockers have all been shown to have varying associations with tinnitus. For some individuals, it makes their tinnitus noticeably worse. For others, the tinnitus from unregulated blood pressure issues is worse than it is when using medication for management. But you ultimately must consider what the risk of not using these medications is, because managing your blood pressure is vital to keeping you alive and well. The fourth and final way that your blood pressure may be associated with tinnitus actually has to do with stress levels. High or chronic stress levels can elevate your blood pressure, changing blood flow to the inner ear with tinnitus as a side effect. And in a nasty cycle, the increase in tinnitus can stress you out even more, a relationship you can learn much more about in each of these videos that I will have linked in the description below. So what can you do to keep your blood pressure under control and reduce its impact on your tinnitus? Well, here are five steps to get you started. Step one, adopt a healthy diet under the supervision of your doctor. This diet will likely consist of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins with limited sodium and saturated fats. Staying hydrated is also key to avoiding sharp drops in blood pressure, so make sure you're drinking the right amount of water. Step two, exercise regularly. Exercise can strengthen the heart and allow it to circulate blood more effectively. Regular exercise can also keep you at a healthy weight, which reduces strain on the heart overall. But before you just jump into a hardcore exercise routine, make sure you discuss this with your doctor too. Step three, quit smoking and reduce your alcohol intake. Both of these substances can worsen your cardiovascular health and increase your blood pressure over time. Both smoking and alcohol also have their own connections with worsening tinnitus. So this is really a double whammy that you'll wanna get under control. Step four, make sure you get good sleep. Sleep deprivation, poor sleep, and untreated sleep apnea can increase blood pressure over time. Low quality sleep can also make it harder to manage your emotions or shift your attention away from your tinnitus. And finally, step five, find ways to reduce your stress. This is perhaps one of the most overlooked elements of managing your blood pressure, but it can really make a world of difference. We live in a very busy and hectic world that doesn't have a ton of time carved out for rest or relaxation. Without this designated time for disconnection, our brains and our bodies stay alert and ready for action, which keeps stress levels and blood pressure levels high. Luckily, there's a whole host of free resources on YouTube and beyond for managing your stress, including meditation and mindfulness, yoga, breath work, and progressive muscle relaxation. But if you're not ready to try these out just yet, then focus on doing one or two things that you enjoy and that helps to reduce stress each day. This might be coloring, working on a puzzle, crafting, or just being out in nature. Now, each of these strategies is already part of leading a healthy lifestyle, so they should be practiced anyway. But even with these healthy habits, you may still be bothered by your tinnitus. And this is because blood pressure regulation is just one of many causes of tinnitus. For this reason, it's important to consult with a tinnitus specialist who will be able to complete an evaluation to try to find some of the causes of your tinnitus and provide treatment recommendations to help you manage it. Overall, blood pressure that is too high or that is too low can definitely make your tinnitus worse. That being said, talk to your doctor about ways to regulate your blood pressure and be sure to incorporate heart-healthy habits along the way. But if you're still bothered by your tinnitus, don't hesitate to seek out a tinnitus specialist in your area who can get you some answers and some relief so that your tinnitus is no big deal.